What's up, crypto fam? Welcome back to another episode. If you guys are new here, we do a giveaway at the beginning of every single episode, and today's winner is Stress Master. Thank you so much for not only commenting, liking, and subscribing, Stress Master, but you have been commenting with other people in the community and helping others out. I've been watching that in the previous video comments section. So congratulations, I just sent you some crypto, and thanks for being a valuable member of the community. If you guys wanna win on the next video, comment and like this video for a chance to win some cryptocurrency. Jumping into today's interview with James Alexander from CRED. I'm super excited about this project because if you guys don't know this about my background, I actually started a peer-to-peer -peer lending business in 2014 that got sold to Max Levchin from PayPal. Very, very crazy 14 months of my life doing peer-to-peer -peer lending, and it was such a hot topic back then. It was fun coming across James Alexander, talking to him at the booth at SF Blockchain Week. James Alexander also came from a peer-to-peer -peer lending background, and it was fun to discuss what the future looks like for blockchain and crypto lending. Cred is doing some really, really interesting things with the space, and they're bringing in a lot of very brilliant, financially-minded people. To extremely simplify the way that Cred is going to be working is they have the ability to lend money based on the crypto assets that you have. I like what they're doing. It's opening a lot of doors for people. It's going to allow a lot of more traditional finance to come into this space, whether it's from the lending side or the borrowing side. I'm excited about it. So let's dive right into the interview with James Alexander. I am here with James Alexander, the Chief Capital Officer of CRED, and we are going to have a little discussion today. How are you doing? Good, thank you. I wanted to just kind of go through the team, the traction, and the technology that they're using at CRED, and just an overview. So could you just tell us a little bit about who you guys are and where you're based? Sure. CRED provides U.S. dollar loans against cryptocurrencies. We currently lend against three different currencies, Bitcoin, Ether, and XRP. It's very simply, if you're a holder of cryptocurrency, you can come to us, pledge your Bitcoin, for example, as collateral, and we will give you up to a three-year loan in dollars. Wow. In a bear market, that's actually quite valuable. I could see that being quite valuable to people that don't want to sell low and they could potentially take out like, credit, potentially. That's exactly right. You know, it's comparable to stock lending. So if you have a low base, for example, then it's much more tax efficient to borrow against those low base assets. And if you have substantial assets maybe that have declined in value, for example, a lot of ether that's sitting on uh, the balance sheets of ISOs, they still have to pay operating expenses every day, including salaries and travel and, and other, and so we can provide that liquidity. And our loans, as I said, are up to three years. Um, we also do shorter term, though, for uh, shorter term treasury management, if you will. You just need some shorter term liquidity. Very cool. So as far as traction, how many people do you guys have doing loans? How many people do you have as far as uh, borrowers go? What does that look like? Sure, so we did uh, an ISO ourselves in a private and public placement in May of this year. We raised um, uh, about $28 million, and so that's our working capital. We uh, have about 70 employees now, um, most of which are engineers, about 40 of them. We have, uh, we are a global company, so we have uh, business units in Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, uh, China, Shanghai, uh, San Francisco, and Europe in uh, Munich. So we're a, a global platform already. Growing company, very nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's welcome to a brave new world. You know, where a yeah. seed round can be thirty million dollars, and you can you know hire and, uh, and grow uh, at this type of scale and pace. As far as like the next step for you guys, what does that look like? Are you guys? Uh, going live? Are you currently live? What, is, what does that look like? Yeah, we're in business. Um, we uh, signed a, uh, a, a large agreement with a global private equity firm. Uh, so we have about $250 million of lending capacity available. We haven't lent nearly that much yet. We, we just started lending this month. Um, but we have a robust pipeline of, of borrowers, um, notably a lot of ICO companies, uh, a lot of early whale type of owners, and then a growing retail presence, so the smaller value loans. Um, in terms of our roadmap, we're prioritizing two things. One is later this year we'll be launching a, a CRED card. Okay. So that's like our name, CRED. And that will live in your wallet 
between your Visa card and your American Express card and allow you to spend in the real world based on your crypto assets. And then the second initiative is powered by cred. We have announced our first integration with a wallet provider, which is Uphold. Okay. And we will announce uh, other integrations with other wallet and exchanges. We believe that wherever your assets are held at some point, you as the owner of those assets are going to require the ability to borrow against them. Very similar to the way stock lending and margin lending has evolved. Very cool. Very cool. So that leads into the final segment of technology. You guys are actually coming out with a physical card, the cred card. That's very exciting. The, the UP Alliance and our association with PwC are things that are just uh, going to be announced this week. And so I, 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 won't, I won't spoil that. I'll let you uh, meet with either Dan Shat or Lu Hua in those areas. But uh, Got it. Got it. Yeah, you guys definitely have the coolest booth that I've seen so far next to PwC. Universal and, uh, and cred. Very exciting. Well, thank you for sitting down with me for this sure. interview. As I said before, with a background in peer-to-peer -peer lending and finance specifically, I'm really excited about cred, uphold, and PwC, that whole sort of partnership there. It's very cool to watch like-minded people from the previous industry that I was really obsessed with for a while, peer-to-peer -peer lending, coming into crypto, and just seeing the energy that they're bringing to the space. There needs to be a little bit more formation around instruments like lending, and I'm excited to watch this space evolve. Over the next 10, 20 years, there's going to be lots of movers and shakers in this space, but the people that move first are the ones that are going to reap the most benefits. When it comes to lending and borrowing money, that's basically as old as a financial structure as you can find. Definitely gonna follow up with James Alexander and the team there just to kind of follow their progress, especially with that cred card. I think that's a really, really clever way. Bridging the gap between traditional wallets of people holding credit cards and crypto. I walked up to their booth and just kicked it off really quickly with saying that my background was in peer-to-peer -peer lending. It was an instant kind of fun conversation about where that space is at, where that space is going. I'm gonna be putting the links to Cred and Uphold the Wallet in the description below so you guys can get a chance to go check it out for yourself. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video, it helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Hack Crypto.